Hey guys, it's me. I am back, and as you can see, um, I have made some progress with the box, and let me tell you what I've done. Um, after all the glue dried and everything, I painted the box with uh, a coat of this uh, Deco Art white, all-purpose acrylic white paint, and then I took some sandpaper that I had. Um, I'm not sure what grit this is, but it was just some sandpaper and after the paint dried I, I sanded it all down and it gave it this really kind of nice shabby look. So I did that all over the sides you can see and a bit on the top and then this side doesn't have paper on it yet so you can see a bit there. And then I have used the um, Kaiser Craft base coat um, paper for this because I loved that this paper really picked up on the tones of the wood and the paint. You can see it's quite similar. So I And I wanted this to look very shabby and vintage, so that's why I decided to use this paper. Now I have added some of the paper to the box. I've done the inside here, I've done one side, and I've done the bottom. Um, so I haven't finished it yet, so I'm going to finish that now. And on the lid, I've done one side, and I'm going to do the other. Oh, and the other thing that I did was with each piece of the paper I distressed the edges and I went around it with um, my distress ink. I used the walnut stain uh, and just took my little thing here and went all the way around it just to give it that extra sort of vintage look. So um, that's what I'm working on right now and I've got some bits and pieces out here that I'll be working on but um, it's coming along and uh, I wanted to share with you that so I am just going to um, glue this paper on and I'm using a Lean's Tacky Glue for this and this is almost empty so it takes a lot to get the glue out of here so I really have to squeeze it <laughs> but I do have another one which is good so basically I just kind of go all over the paper and then I smush it around with my finger and then it attaches quite nicely. So that's what I will do. Um, yeah, I'm really having fun with this box. Um, if you guys are just watching this video and you haven't seen the other one, I did do a how-to yesterday on how to put this box together. So do check that out. And again, um, this is from Gina's Designs. I'm just going to give this a little smush with my finger. Um, and I will put the link to Gina's down below this video. But I thought it would be kind of fun to do a how-to. I haven't done one in a really, really, really long time. And uh, a few people have been asking me to do tutorials, so I thought, oh, okay. I'm a little shy, I guess. Plus, I'm like... I don't know if you guys want to watch glue dry and stuff. <laughs> but anyway, we will see what happens here. So yeah, you just put the glue on. And the good thing with Aileen's tacky glue is that you do have a bit of time with it. Um, and just push it down and it'll stay quite nicely. So this is the lid basically done now. And then um, the pieces will be going on it which will look really, really cool. I love the uh, very shabby look, and I've got some neat pieces, too. I actually have these. These are new from Prima, these vintage cameras, and it's got the same type of look, the white with the sort of distressing and the, the brown color. So I think that's going to look really cute. And I've got a few more um, pieces from Gina's out here that I'm going to do some stuff with. I've got the little uh, Polaroid frame, I've got some of the gears, and I've got this really cool film strip, which I love. This is going to be neat. And a little camera, and then a couple of the arrows. As you know, there's little arrows on a camera. So, so I think I'm going to be using some embossing powder on those, so they will be fun to play with. But So that is the lid basically done, and now I'm just going to put the um, last piece on the side here. Um, and I'm going to put the glue on the wood this time. It's just a little easier to move around. Oh boy, this is really getting to the end. 
I've had this glue for a really long time. It's really lasted me, but uh, when you get down to the end, it's hard to squeeze it out. That should be good enough. And just do a bit of smushing. That's a technical term, smushing. <laughs> just makes it, if you do this, then the glue isn't bubbly underneath. It gives you a nicer flat uh, surface. Okay. And then I am attaching my last piece of paper to the side. Just get it in the right position anyway. And there we have it. Pretty simple. So that is basically the box with um, the painting and the paper done. So that's sort of what it looks like right now. Um, so basically it's stage two. Um, and now I have to kind of figure out what I want to do. Um, I know that I want to use this film strip somehow. Um, not quite sure how though, because I need something that's going to kind of go across the box. I'd like to sort of, well I'm going to punch these out first of all. Maybe across like that, I don't know. Maybe even underneath it might be kind of neat. That might be neat. And put maybe some pictures behind the uh, the film strip. So that is my next kind of idea of what I want to do. This also might be kind of neat in here. I like to lay out all my pieces. Um, before I do anything with them. I'm obviously going to have to cut this film strip, so we shall see. And I've got some lovely flowers that I could add to this and some nice metal bits. My daughter actually gave me some uh, really cool um, craft items for my birthday, and these are two of them she gave me from Recollections. So I may use these. I think these would go really well. It's the right color tones. They're kind of like leather. I've never seen them before. They're really fun. So that's where I'm at right now, guys. So I'm going to um, figure out what I want to use here. I know I want to use a couple of these little guys, these little vintage cameras. I'm going to take these out. Yeah, they'll go perfectly on here. Hmm. I'm not going to use all three of them. I kind of like that. So I may save those for another project. And then we shall see what these flowers look like. So I think they're going to go well, and they're really unique and unusual. I like how that dangles down. That looks pretty cool. Maybe I'll use the smaller one. Yeah, okay. It's sort of coming together. And I think I'm going to use some metal pieces for the sides, but I may have to dig in my little metal bin here. I also need to turn on my glue gun soon. Let's see. These are my um, Prima bits. I have um, some odds and ends in here. These are the junkyard findings from Ingvold Bohm that I keep in this little container. I like that. So it's kind of 
kind of cool. Mm, clock hands. <laughs> no, not going to use clock hands on the camera. I shall resist. <laughs> So yeah, um, uh, actually, I wanted to mention too, um, a lot of people are being nominated for the Crafty Academy Awards that I mentioned in my other video, and that is so fantastic. I think it's great that everybody's coming together to do something really fun and positive. Um, I know there's times when things are, you know, issues um, on Facebook and on uh, YouTube with crafters and, you know, I really want to stay in the positive and I think it's wonderful. It's a great positive thing and um, I'm going to have to pull this drawer out, I think, and really get into my metal bits here. I keep everything metal in here. I have artichokes, everything. Um, I have never bought myself artichokes. Um, people have sent me these in swaps and stuff because here in Canada, they are so ridiculously expensive. Anyway, I think uh, East Crafty Academy Awards are just great. I think it's a super positive thing for people to do and to show some YouTube love. So it's very exciting. Some of my friends are super thrilled. And um, I think it's very inspiring, too, when you have people that inspire you to do your crafts and... You know, it's a good way for everybody to show some love, as I said. I kind of like the copper. I don't know. Well, I'm going to look for some metal bits, guys, and I will be back in a few minutes when I get all of my embellishments sorted out. I'm sure you don't need to hear me ramble, and once I get all my embellies sorted out, I will come back and share with you what I'm doing. So I'll be back soon. <laughs>